guys, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And the video you're going to see, I filmed yesterday, but I wanted to come on and just do a really quick introduction for those of you who have been following me so I can give you an update on what's going on. So I did have the baby. If you're new to our channel, I'm a mom of eight boys and um, I was pregnant the last video I did and now the baby is here. So he is two weeks old and um, I'm trying to think, he's a little over two weeks old and he's doing great. He was my biggest baby. He was nine pounds, two ounces when he was born and me, uh, I'm doing great. He's doing well and so uh, I am back and I'm going to show you in this video my preschoolers and my toddlers learning notebooks that I am preparing for this new school year. We're probably going to start school in about two weeks. So, uh, and if you're new to my channel, I am a mom of eight and I'm a homeschool mom. We've been homeschooling for about seven to eight years. And I, before that, I was an elementary school teacher. I taught kindergarten, first, second grade. And before that, even earlier than that, I have a little guy right here. Um, I, I always forget to say this. You saying hi? I did preschool um, in a daycare. So I've kind of done all the primary grades. Yeah, you're saying hi. Yeah, they can't see you. They can't see you. All right, guys, so let's get into the video if you're interested in seeing the learning notebooks. And by the way, if I'm talking really fast in the video, I apologize. I was trying to show you everything. Okay. I was trying to show you everything um, quickly because I have little ones that need me all the time. It's hard. I, I want to do these videos and I love doing these videos but it's so hard because I have four of my eight are preschool and under and I have toddlers and babies and so it's it's hard to get a video in without a million interruptions so I apologize if in my videos I talk quickly and I'm a quick talker anyways so that doesn't help but sometimes I rush and so I apologize for that all right let's get into the video and I'll show you the learning notebooks for my preschooler and toddlers so today we're going to talk about these learning binders now I uh, started creating it for my preschooler and then I thought I would put one together for my toddler as well even though he won't really be um, he won't be really doing school, but he wants to feel like a big boy, and I thought it would just be kind of fun to let him have his own binder to kind of play around with as well. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you what I did. I pretty much made both binders the same, uh, except I added a little bit, I'm adding a little bit more to my preschoolers than my little toddlers. So, okay, so for my preschooler, he is uh, our special needs child, so he is really four but he's more on a two to three year old level level so just keep that in mind and what I did is I, I made a cover and then um, inside I just made a few interactive things for him to do that he can keep in his binder and have with him all the time now the reason I wanted to make a learning binder you know if you've been watching my videos that we do a lot of hands-on activities and so we don't do a ton of workbook pages or anything like that but my students, my children do need to be able to write and they do need to be able to do work on a page. So I have binders for them and um, inside their binders I do have some work for them to do each day and just uh, some things I have. I'm going to show you right here. I'm flipping past um, some of the things I'm going to show you in a minute. Just to show you, I have some tabs here and what I thought I would do is if I have a workbook page or a worksheet that I want them to work on, um, I will put them in these tabs. So like behind this first tab will probably be like any kind of phonics alphabet type uh, worksheet that I want them to do for the week. Um, behind this next tab are number sheets and I've already put a few of them in here. These number sheets come from, um, there, you can get them in my ultimate preschool bundle or you can get them separately. I'll leave links below to everything. But these are just some number activity sheets that I made recently. 
I printed these ones off in color. Um, I do have them black and white as well. But I thought I'd throw these in here and we could um, work on these. So I haven't thrown in a ton of stuff in this binder yet, but I did throw these ones in because I figured these are great for the beginning of the year. It's just counting. So you have to count the hacks, one, two, three, and then color in the three. Count the boots, one, two, and then he'll color in the two and so on. So these ones are different counting and they have different themes. Like this is an underwater theme, scuba time it says. Um, and then this one I made a flower theme. And so um, I will uh, help him cut these out and then he will have to place the right number next to the amount of flowers. We'll glue those on. So that's a great, um, the cutting and the pasting ones are good for fine motor skills because even though I'm helping him cut and I'm helping him paste it on, he's learning some fine motor skills along with his counting. So there's that one. And then this one is um, where he counts the crayons and then he has to color in the crayon with the right number. And what else do I have in here? And then this is another cut and paste one where he counts the bananas and puts the the monkey with the right number next to the bananas. So anyways, you can get this pack. Of, if you already own my Ultimate Preschool Bundle, then you can go download these activity sheets for free right now. So I figured I would put um, some sheets in there and then we'll maybe do like one page a day along with all of his hands-on activities. So the last video I did, I showed you some of our first few weeks activities that we're going to be doing, the hands-on stuff. And so now I'm just showing you some of the activities that he's gonna be doing in his little notebook here that I have for him. And so um, so this next section will probably, I'll probably put the math worksheets like I've been doing. And then this section I might put, you know, like if we have anything for a Bible or whatever, coloring pages, I might put in the next section and so on. I haven't decided what all the sections are gonna be yet. But um, for preschool, we really just focus on reading, and, you know, phonics and math. Um, and then we do do, we do some science and history and kind of things like that, but not very often. For me, for preschool and even kindergarten, the reading and the math is just our main focus. And then the other subjects we throw in later. Once they get to first grade, then I really start trying to focus on the, um, the important subjects. Okay, so let me just show you here what I did. I typed up his name so he could practice it in different ways. I figured he could use his finger and he can trace as he, you know, with his finger. And then he could also use the dry erase marker since I put this in a plastic sleeve and he can trace it here, he can trace it here. And then I also put the squares in so that he could use manipulatives to make his name on the bottom. And let me just show you some um, ideas of some letters that he could use. So these are our magnetic, a set of our magnetic letters. I have two different sets. This is our colorful set. And so I figured um, each day he could practice his name with these. So after he's traced it with the dry erase, then he can make his name with magnetic letters in the boxes. And I love these boxes because you can see tall letters and lowercase letters. Um, and so this is not something you can get off my website just because I, it's tailored to my own child and his name, but it's an idea for you. You could get on your computer and you could go ahead and type up your child's name and make some squares for them to put their letters in and just practice each day. So there's that. Um, so he could, you know, and then I figured different days we could use different types of letters. So one day he could do it with his magnet letters. And then um, I have, what else do I have over here? Something else, if you guys have puzzles, this is an example of a puzzle that could use puzzle pieces. We also have, my kids love these, the letter bean bags. And so they could use the letter bean bags. Now they don't fit in the squares quite as well but it still get the idea of making his name. Now one side is the capital letter and one side is the lowercase, so that's kind of nice because they can turn them around and they can do the lowercase letters or the uppercase letters and so on. Uh, H is right there. Okay, so you get the idea. You can use all sorts of different letter manipulatives, whatever you want. Um, I think the magnet letters probably work the best as far as fitting in my squares that I made here. But either way, I've got all sorts of letters. Oh, you know what we also have? I pulled out these letter um, blocks. So he could do that as well. And one side again has the uppercase and one side has the lowercase. So that's great. 
as well. Okay, so then the next page that I have in here is an alphabet chart. This comes from my phonics uh, learning chart pack, and I just thought it would be great to have an alphabet chart in here so we could practice the letters and the sounds and all of that um, probably every day or maybe every once in a while. If you're interested to know how we practice the sounds with this chart, I have another video on my channel that I did a couple of years ago um, showing you different ways to use an alphabet chart for learning phonics and sounds. So I have an alphabet chart in here. I also put uh, copies of our Touchpoint math cards in here. So uh, if you've seen my Touchpoint math videos, you know that I have cut these cards out and I have laminated them. So um, we have a set of cards and we use them for all sorts of activities. But I thought I would print out another set and have them in his binder. That way I could get him used to uh, using touch points and seeing the numbers and just having a set in his binder so we can count with and we can use our little manipulatives. And if you've seen my videos, how we use our um, touch point math, I can have him use his magnetic pom poms and count one. And then here's the number two. One two and he can count three and put his little pom-poms on there one two three and so on so i thought it would be good to have um, a set of these cards in his binder so i have up through six here and then seven eight nine on the back okay another thing i threw in here for him to have are um, his alphabet letters to trace. These are a set of tracing cards. You can get them off my website as well. Um, I have a set of these printed out, cut, laminated, and we uh, use them that way, but I also thought I would print out just the whole sheets and keep them in his binder so he could use his dry erase marker and practice tracing the letters whenever he wants. Also, whatever letter we're working on for the week, say we're working on the letter J for the week, then he can come in here and trace it every day with his dry erase and we can erase it and we just ha always have it in here for him. So I have that in here and then I did the same thing with his numbers. So these um, number cards you can get off my website as well. I'll leave a link below to these. Um, a lot of this stuff is already in my um, Ultimate Preschool bundle, so if you have that bundle, you probably have a lot of these things. Anyways, I'll leave a link to everything. But um, same thing with these. I figured we'd have numbers in here for him to trace and um, with his dry erase markers whenever we need it. It's also good to have just a reference of um, the numbers so that when they're, if they have to write the number somewhere else, like they're working on a worksheet or whatever, they can refer to these to see how to, to do it. They can practice tracing it with their dry erase again, like I said. We also like using these, so I have a set of these um, cards cut out and laminated, and then we use them with um, our sand tray and, and that kind of thing as well. You've probably seen that in, if you've seen some of my other videos. So anyways, those are in here as well. So now I want to also show you, and by the way, his brother's, his toddler's, my toddler's binder is pretty much exactly the same. So um, I just have, the only difference is I have his name instead of um, the, the other one's name. But yes, I have the alphabet chart and the numbers and so on. So it's pretty much exactly the same. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to show you is our interactive learning binder. This I'm going to be using with both of the kids. I made this back in 2017, I think, um, or 2016, no, 2017 it says here. Um, so it's been years. I made this for my uh, one of my other sons, as you can see, because it's got his name in it. So I'm not going to be using this name sheet because I already have the name sheets in their other binder. Now this is the old version of the binder. I do have a totally new version as well, so if you download this, um, you will get th this old version and you'll get the new version. I'm going to show you a little bit of that. But since I already have this older version put together, I didn't um, put together the new version. All right, so what I have in here is um, there's this name page, but I'm not going to need to use that. Okay, so it has the calendar. So we can do the calendar uh, every day. You can take off the pieces. It has the months, and then it has all the, the days that they can put on there. I attach them with Velcro. And then we can say, here's the page for the months of the year. And they, they come apart, and the kids can put them in order. So they, you can take them all off. The kids can put them in order. And then you can do the months of the year song. January, February, March, April, May. 
June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the 12 months of the year. Um, there's a new updated, I updated it in 2019. And so um, there's, a, it's been updated for a while. So some of you may already have the update, but um, yeah, there's an updated like months of the year page or whatever, but this is the older version and we're gonna just stick with using this older version so that I don't have to redo it all. But I figured I could use this with both my preschooler and my toddler and um, we can do the months of the year song. They can take the pieces off. They can use it on their calendar uh, when we change the month and we can count the days and stuff like that. So everything is attached with Velcro. All right, so then the next page is the days of the week. Again, you can take them off so that they can put them in order. Um, one through seven, and then we will sing the days of the week song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And don't tell me where I got these songs. I've just known them since I, when I taught kindergarten and even first grade, we used to do these songs and I learned them somewhere along the way years and years ago, and I've just always remembered them. So that's the song we do for the days of the week and then we do the song for the months of the year. So those pages are in here. There's a page for seasons so that they can take the pieces off and they can attach the right season and we can talk about that. There is a page for weather. So every day we can um, discuss, well, what's the weather like today? Is it sunny or windy or cloudy or whatever? And then we can put the pieces on and they're getting a little bit of um, word recognition. They can kind of see what it looks like. They, might, they won't be able to read them, but they can see what the pieces, what the words look like, and I can read them to them. And again, there's an updated version of this, but this is the older version. Uh, this is the number page. and I, So this is the older version of the number page, and what they do is they count the numbers of dots on each bug, and then they attach it next to the right number. And I'm going to show you some of the updated pages that I did print out because I'm going to... Um, put those in their binders as well. Okay, so then the next page is alphabet where they go ahead and they attach the correct picture. So this is a moon and they would attach it to the M here for moon and so on. A lot of these are mixed up, but um, you can take the pieces off and they can match up the letters sounds to the pictures. Then this one I'm pretty excited about because um, my little ones are working on colors, especially when my toddler is working on colors, so they can match yellow to yellow, and orange to orange, and so on. And once they match it up, it makes the full picture. So I like that page. There's a newer version of that as well, but I like that page. Shapes. So they can match up the actual shape to the word. And then I also thought with this, we could add in some manipulatives. So here I have just some um, button shapes. These are all just different buttons and different shapes. And so once they match it up, so circle to circle and triangle to triangle, and these are pages that I can just keep in here and we can practice, you know, once a week or something so that they're getting that repetition of the shapes. So then they can match up their buttons to it. So we've got, here's a triangle and here's a square and I don't know, I didn't pull them all out, but I have more shapes. And so they, they can match them up um, that way as well. So if you have some manipulatives, that'd be great to use on your shape page. So after they, they match up the pictures, they can match up with the little manipulatives. So again, this book is something that I'm gonna be using with both my little kiddos. And like I said, we can do it just every once in a while. Now the money page and the time page, my little ones are not ready for that yet. But um, I do have an updated version of these. Let me show you. I printed them out because I thought like for my first grader it would be good to have in his binder. So um, here's the updated time page and here's the updated money page. And then what they do is they match up the clocks to the time page. So I have to cut these out. And they match up the either the amounts or the name to the money page so the money anyways that will be in his binder so i did print out the newer version these are the older versions so they're in here but i don't know how much i'll be using them with my little guys so there's that one and then this is the time one okay there are new versions 
uh, of these animal ones as well where they match up the um, name to the animal and let me show you those because i did print that out where is that printed out the newer version okay here we go Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, so here's the newer version of the zoo animals is there a zoo animal one yeah there's a newer version of the zoo animals here's the newer version of the farm animals and then these are the words that they match up the name, so I have to cut those out. And I'm gonna put those in their binder, but also, um, after they match up the word, then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use little animal manipulatives and have them match them up. So, I have some little animal um, magnets here, so we could go ahead and match up our magnets as well. So there's our giraffe. And there's our lion. And where's our monkey? He's somewhere in here. But you get the idea. So I have some magnets that they can match up to the pictures. And I, we can do the same thing with our little farm animals as well because I have manipulatives for those. Now, Okay, so something else that's fun to do is I have this bucket of animal toys, and if you have the matching animal toy, it's fun to match those up as well. So here we have like a tiger and a giraffe, and there's a bear down here. I know there's a bear on the page. So these are fun to, to do as well. So you could put these kind of things out for your, your preschooler and have them talk about the different animals. So after they match up the words, which I think is great matching up the words because then they're seeing, um, they're being exposed to what the word looks like to read it. Um, so when after they match up the word, then you could go ahead and use your little manipulatives like these and the ones I was just showing you and you can talk about the different animals and have them find the animals in their little toys as well. So those are great as well. I'm gonna um, put these new ones together just to keep in there binders the other binders that i showed you but these are the old set and they're in here and they're great too they're, they're already put together so i like that and then there's a plant one in here which i don't know how often we'll be doing this one because i well it would be nice to expose them to some of these words and terms so maybe we will do this one as well and then that is the last page this used to be the cover of it but this little guy is no longer a preschooler and he doesn't need all this he's my first grader now so all right guys so that is what i'm going to be using with my little guys oh and let me show you some other pages so these are other pages these are in the new version of this learning binder so i will leave a link below to to where you can get all these pages um, and you will be able to get that older version as well as the newer version and the newer version comes with these pages as well they're sound mix and match pages here's page one page two and page three and what you do is um, i will laminate these ones as well and put the velcro on and then they match up the pictures to the letter sound here and so here's some more of the pictures i have to laminate and cut those pictures out as well Sorry if the camera's moving, my little guy is yanking on it. Um, so I'll try to make this video a little bit shorter. Here is a, the updated version of the numbers page and they have to match up um, number cards. Here's the number card so they can count the scoops or they can count the bubbles and then they can match those up to the number page. So here's the first number page, looks like this, one through 10. And then the other number page is just mix and match. So the numbers are mixed up and then they match up the correct amount in the picture and they'll put it on the square. So I still have to put those together. So I have two sets of those because I'm gonna put it in my preschooler and my toddler's book. Oh, and here's another example of some of the numbers they can match up. So um, for the elephants, they would count the peanuts and for the monkeys, they would count the bananas and then they would put the right one in the proper square that matches the number so we're going to be i'm going to be putting that together for them this is an um also in the updated version that i made in 2019 and this is matching capital to lowercase so here is what they look like 
here's what the page looks like and then the lowercase letters are here so I'll cut those out laminate those and then they can velcro the lowercase letters on and match them to the uppercase so I still need to do that I have two sets printed out because I'm gonna put one set in each of their binder and then that is it that is finally it guys um, so that is what I'm going to be doing with them as far as their binders go. So their binders are just an extension of the learning that we're gonna be doing. So they will be doing um, learning in their binders as well as all of the hands-on activities that I show you in my videos. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching guys. And guys, I forgot to show you one more thing. I have this little binder here and this is what I'm gonna be keeping the worksheets in that I print out that I'm gonna be putting into um, the kids binders and so uh, what I did I just kind of started it um, so for anything that I printed out that I I'm gonna probably print stuff out like each week and then add it but if I already have it printed out um, I'm gonna keep it in this binder and what I have here is like the first section is going to be our alphabet section so each week as we do one of these pages I'll take it out of here and add it to their binder um, and so I have these um, alphabet pages that I created recently. You, if you have my Ultimate Preschool Bundle, you can go download these for free because I added it to it. If, if not, I have a, I'll have a link below where you can get these. Um, so I have these printed out already. So they're in here. And then I also have some like number sheets that we're going to be doing. We'll do one number. Um, we'll focus on one number a week. And so I'll take the sheet out and put it in their binder so that they can work on it. And um, so I have some of those in here. Again, if you have my Ultimate Preschool Bundle, I added these to it as well. So you can go get these sheets. Some of them are like just for them to trace and count the numbers. And then um, you saw these sheets. This is the black and white version of the um, activity sheets that you already saw in his binder. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. Um, this is where I'm gonna be keeping anything that I print out that is not ready to go in their binder yet. Um, I can just refer to this, take it out, put it in here and we're ready to go and I have it ready. For the most part though, everything's still on my computer and I'm just gonna print it out as we need it and add it to the binder um, week by week. All right guys, thanks so much for watching, bye.